Hi, I'm Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team. If you're asking, uh, should I move to Fishers, Indiana or the greater Indianapolis area? Hey, you may want to take a look at this big two-story. It's got over 6,000 square feet and it's got six bedrooms. It's located in the uh, popular Calumet uh, Farms section of the Brooks Park neighborhood. And it's listed by Keller Williams, Indy Metro Northeast. But FYI, I can help you with any listing in the state, whether it's one that I have or another broker. Hey, let's go inside and check it out. Step inside and you've got a tall two story with a pretty staircase here and nice wide open foyer. Right to the left, um, and this ceiling goes to two stories as well. This would make a great office or second living, living area. Good multi-purpose type uh, room. Okay, let's go in and check out the main gathering area. Really good sized room, uh, nice sparkling hardwood floors. Lots of space here, good natural light. This is a dark day, but outside, but uh, still a lot of light coming through the windows. Open space here for dining or family dining. Into the kitchen area, You've got this big center island that looks out over uh, your main gathering space. It's really handy to your dining area, which is right here. You have a butler's pantry and then right into your dining room, tray ceiling, good space. And like I said, then this could be your family dining area, but you also have this over here, which is another common area. You've got the vaulted ceiling. You've got a second uh, overhang on your counter. You've got the one on the center island, and then you have the one here. And these gleaming hardwoods come all the way through. These lead right out onto the deck. It's good size. Pretty backyard. It's got a lot of pine trees that are in the process of growing and creating a privacy screen. You can bring your barbecue right in here to uh, the counter to work on. So the kitchen has uh, quartz countertops, big sink. You've got a gas range top, stainless steel appliances. Not soft clothes. Okay, we do have double ovens. We got a walk in pantry here. Good size. So, all in all, you've got a good size kitchen with a lot of counter space and cabinet space. Pretty attractive. Okay, right back here behind the kitchen, then, is your uh, garage entry. You've got a three car, it's finished. A little bump out on this side about four feet, so you put mowers and that type of thing. Right inside, you've got a powder room so you can get, wash your hands as you come in from working outside. You've got a drop zone for book bags and mittens and boots. And right here you have uh, your laundry room so you can just drop your dirty clothes. You got a laundry sink, which is always handy coming in from outside, at least in my house. And what we got here is another pantry. Okay, we're not done downstairs here. So on the other side here, I think we've got a coat closet here probably. Yep. And then we have a bedroom, which would make a great guest bedroom. Would also make a good office. Decent sized closet for what you need here. And right outside this is a full bathroom with shower, nicely tiled. So this would be great from a guest standpoint right here from a privacy standpoint. And if we head upstairs here, carpeted stairs, cut the noise down. Okay, straight ahead. Oh, we got a couple closets here for games and books and that type of thing. Then you got a loft area. Could be another common living area, certainly big enough. Could be an office. I've seen workout rooms here, kids' playroom, any number of different things. To the right here, we have one bedroom. It's got a walk-in 
closet of sorts. Yeah, walk in. Joins to a, a Jack and Joe bath. Double vanity. And then into the second bedroom off of it, which also has a walk-in closet. Pretty decent size considering there's six bedrooms in this house. Back to the loft, then across the way here, we have another bedroom. Good size, decent closet. And right outside the door here, we've got yet another bathroom, full bathroom. So this is, serves the loft as well as this fourth bedroom. Okay, we're not done up here. So we have an attractive master. It's got French doors into it. Got a really decent size master bedroom closet. Got it like this. Good size master bedroom. Tray ceiling makes it look even a little larger. Got a lot of good windows on this. Set in a bow fashion. But plenty of wall space for uh, headboard, tall chest of drawers, TVs, whatever you want. And then contained in this, separated by another set of French doors, is the master bath, private commode room. You have um, dual vanities, one on each side of the soaker tub. Lots of natural light coming through. Good size linen closet. And a nice tiled shower with glass door and a seat. So pretty darn nice master bath. And for that matter, master bedroom ensuite. Nice view from up here. Okay, let's go see what the basement's got. So this house has uh, 3,913 square feet over a 2,156 square foot basement for a total of 6,069 square feet. Lots of space down here for lots of different uses. Lots and lots of space. Workout room, game room, ping pong pool, movies, lots and lots. Well, there's over 2,000 square feet here and you can use it as you see fit. Does have an egress window on this side. Sliding barn door, we have another room that could be an office or craft room or whatever the heck you wanted to use it for. And uh, I mean, you even got crown molding down here. Check it out. Then we come over here, we have another bedroom, really good size. This would be number six. It has an egress window. Big closet. And right outside the door here is another full bathroom, nicely done. Big tile shower. You also have your mechanical room over here. And you have another room that I could not find the light on that you could use for storage or whatever, or a workout room or whatever you wanted, okay? Lots of really attractive features in this uh, 6,069 square foot two-story. The ticket on it is 819. If you'd like a personal tour, just give me a quick call or text. And hey, while we're in the neighborhood here, let's go take a look at a couple homes that have recently sold. And also uh, take a look at the great amenities that they have here. Okay, we're just a couple houses down at 10250 Normandy Way. Uh, this one sold last year in four days. It's got four bedrooms, four and a half baths. It's 2,608 square feet over a full finished basement for 4,903 square feet. And it's got a three car uh, side low garage. 
A uh, big feature on it was the gourmet kitchen uh, with stainless steel appliances, double ovens, granite countertops, walk-in pantry, and both a center island and a peninsula island that both open to the great room. Uh, that has a gas log fireplace. And then you go to the primary bedroom suite, uh, tray, 11 foot ceiling, dual granite sinks, garden tub, walk-in closet, and separate shower. And you get to top it off, entertained from your uh, covered patio. This one was built in 2010 and it sold for $575,000. Okay, we're gonna take a look at 10050 Kings Horse uh, Way. This one uh, was on the market all of 14 days. It was built in 2014. It's got four bedrooms, four and a half baths, and uh, 3,579 square feet over an 1815 basement gives you a total of 5,176 square feet. So uh, this one's a uh, two-story um, with a gathering room open to the kitchen and eat-in area. Gourmet kitchen that uh, boasts stainless steel appliances, granite countertop, large island, and a walk-in pantry. Uh, you've got a master suite with uh, an attached sitting room and an ensuite bath complete with walk-in shower and large soaker tub. And the upstairs also has two bedrooms or has two ensuites, um, which is kind of cool. And then you got bedroom three and four share a Jack and Jill bathroom. Uh, finished basement has a spacious entertaining area, ample storage, and a full bath. This one, uh, yeah, was on the market 14 days and sold for $650,000. Hey, if you're uncertain whether you need to uh, buy or sell first, this is not my first rodeo, so feel free to give me a call. I'll be glad to talk about the uh, pros and cons with you. And hey, then you can be the judge for yourself what works for your situation. By the way, we offer a free room-by-room -room analysis. There's no cost or obligation. And I can guarantee you that I can both make you money and save you money by not having to do things that somebody told you you just had to do to sell your house. My staff and I have prepared a short video film with uh, highlighting 13 key points that will help you make the most money when you do sell your house. Plus, I'll share secrets on how I sold my last five houses in an aggregate total of less than 30 days. Okay, we're uh, pulled up in front of 14444 Brooks Edge Lane. This one was built in 2009. It's got four bedrooms, three and a half baths, a grand total of 4,342 square feet, and dig this, a four car garage. Sits on a pretty corner lot. It's all brick, which is hard to find and hard to turn down. Sophisticated custom home. You've got expansive windows. Uh, they fill the open concept spaces with a lot of sunlight. You've got a chef's kitchen, offers high-end appliances, an island, and a dining nook, and that opens to the great room. A uh, spacious primary suite boasts an opulent bath and a spacious walk-in closet. The magnificent lower level offers a family room with a wet bar for entertaining, a bedroom, a full bath, and a home gym. Nice looking place. This one sold for $707,000. We're at the amenity center and uh, hey, it's a, a nice package here. They've got the clubhouse and they've got the pool and they've got a park and a playground and uh, a basketball court. Total HOA on this one is uh, about $75 a month or 900 annually. Hey, maybe you heard Zillow just named Indianapolis the fourth hottest housing market in the entire United States. And uh, hey, good houses, uh, they can go fast. So if you'd like to see one, just uh, give me a quick call or text. Next up, we're gonna do a quick map tour, show you where all the great things there are to do in Fishers, Indiana, where they're located in proximity. This uh, particular neighborhood um, is located at the southeast corner of Fishers. It's just uh, about a mile from Geist Reservoir and it provides easy access to everything at Geist as well as everything in the Castleton area. It's also 20 minutes approximately to the yard or to all the shops and restaurants at uh, Hamilton Town Center. The kids here in uh, Brooks Park uh, go to Geist Elementary which is <laughs> less than a mile away. Then they go to Fall Creek Intermediate and Junior High School and to um, Hamilton Southeastern High School. All those schools are rated A or better by niche.com. Fishers has so much to offer. Hey, but let's just start with how convenient it is. You know, if you look at a map and you look at Fishers, I-69 just comes right down the center of it pretty much. And State Road 37, which is a very large state highway, also bisects it. And then coming across east and west, you've got 146th Street and 116th and down at 96th kind of carries traffic from east to west. If you're coming down uh, 69 or 37, that'll bring you, they'll join together 
and they'll take you to the Beltway, which is I-465. And that'll take you anywhere in the metro area you want to go. Or if you stay on 69 or, or 37, it'll take you straight downtown in about 40 minutes, okay? Now, from a job standpoint, along all these major highways are lots of jobs. We're talking um, along 69 and 37, you've got a lot of manufacturing and distribution centers scattered all over the area. You have a lot of educational and healthcare jobs. And then uh, down towards the Beltway, you've got Roche Diagnostics, which is a Fortune 500 company. And then you've got retail just all over the place as well and offices and that type of thing. We'll talk about that a little bit later here in the tour. Okay, from a school standpoint, uh, Fishers has 27 schools in the Hamilton Southeastern School District. The entire school system is ranked eighth out of 290 in the state for public school systems, which puts it in like the top 3% statewide. That's pretty darn good. If you're looking at private school options, you, your Catholic high school is a little further away, maybe depending on where you're at in Fishers, anywhere from 25 to 45 minutes. That would be uh, uh, Cathedral and Guerin. Uh, they are both like rated A plus, top 5% of all Catholic high schools in the country. And then there's a whole lot of uh, old private uh, elementary schools that are maybe denominational or not. So you have a lot of choices when it comes to good schools. From a healthcare standpoint, you've got four or five hospitals just within 10 minutes or 20 minutes, depending on where in Fishers you're at. Uh, up on 146th Street, you have a, a community health pavilion. You have, you have the Peyton Manning uh, Children's Hospital, and you have the uh, IU Saxony Village Hospital. And then if you go the other direction, down uh, just around the Beltway, you have uh, a big community, North Hospital, over here by the yard at, on 116th, you have a Riverview um, emergency room uh, set up. So lots of options there from a hospital standpoint. And around each of those hospitals are lots of ancillary medical facilities, orthopedics, physical therapy, occupational therapy, peds, neuro, every kind of specialty that you can think of. So plenty of healthcare opportunities to satisfy whatever need you have. Okay, Fishers is just abundant with things to do, uh, whether you're looking from adult stuff or children's activities. You can just drive around and there's climbing walls and cheer camps and uh, aquatic centers and just all kinds of stuff. And we're gonna take you through here in just a little bit, a uh, Fishers Indiana tour, if you will. We're gonna look at their uh, park system. There's like 25 parks. Uh, that includes the Geist Waterfront Park. And then there's Geist Reservoir, which is a tremendous uh, fun-filled uh, opportunity too. Uh, we'll look at some entertainment options. You've got the new event center, which will seat 8,500 people. We'll host the, the uh, uh, Indianapolis Fury, which is the Chicago Blackhawks uh, farm team and then uh, it'll also have music and comedy and theater. Uh, we'll stick our head in at the Nickel Plate Amphitheater, which has over 6,000 people for summer uh, festival type music. And then up at Connor Prairie, they have uh, a slate of 12 performances by the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra called Symphony on the Prairie, which even if you're not a symphony fan are great, and it's a great time. Uh, that seats like 8,500 lawn style. And then we can go out to Ruoff uh, Music Center, which is the gem of all Indiana um, music venues. In 2018, it sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. So we're gonna stick our head in the door there too and see what's going on. Fishers has been rated one of the most underrated golf cities in the uh, uh, country by one magazine or another a number of times over the years. We'll stop in at two uh, courses and also we'll stop into Top Golf, which is always a great time, even if you're not a golfer. Finally, we'll take a look at all the shopping and restaurant opportunities, whether we're talking about at Hamilton Town Center or the Yard. Uh, both of those are open air malls. They have a lot of good shopping opportunities and some really good restaurants. I'll let you in on uh, my top two or three picks at each so you can put them on your list. And by the way, if you've seen some of these segments before and you want to bop ahead, feel free. And then, hey, stick around to the end. I'm going to share a monthly market update so you can be armed with all the latest information 
to make your next buy or sell a success. Okay, if you'd like to know everything there is to know about Fishers Indiana, or maybe you just wanna walk through a home that you've seen advertised, text me or book a call. Okay, let's go jump in the truck and let's go do the Fishers Indiana tour. So if you're considering moving to Fishers, Indiana or the greater Indianapolis area, you'll be sure to want to pick up a copy of our relocation guide. Uh, my staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and it's free and it's yours in the comments section below. Coming up, I'm going to share some of the top parks and recreational activities that are available practically in your own backyard. Fishers has done a really bang up job with its parks and rec department. They've got 25 parks, over 600 acres, 61 sports fields. You can rent a pavilion or an event facility. There's two sledding hills, three fishing ponds, and four creeks to stop around in. And if you have any energy left, hey, there's 131 miles of trails that you can walk and hike. Hey, or you can head on over to the Geist Waterfront Park. You can rent a kayak or a stand-up paddleboard or head out on the lake. Geist Reservoir has a full-service marina, the Geist Marina or you can head over to the public launch ramp, but get there early because it gets busy. The reservoir itself has 1,890 surface acres. It's the second largest in the state. You can tube, you can ski, you can swim, hey, or you can just chill. There's a lot of that going on. The bass fishing is pretty good. They have tournaments all summer long, or hey, you can putz around and do, you know, the multi-million dollar home tour. There are other options. You can become a member at the Indianapolis Yacht Club. And no, you don't have to own a yacht. Lynn and I got married there. It was a great time. One of our favorite things to do is to boat up to restaurants. Be sure to check out Woofies. Check out these music and entertainment options. You won't believe all the shows you can take in. I'm sitting outside the, what will be the new Fishers Events Center. This is slated to open in December of 2024. It is a massive project. It's uh, $170 million and it will anchor a $550 million project that oh, will encompass this entire area with shops and restaurants and other fun things to do. This will be home to the Indy Fuel, which is a minor league hockey team uh, of the Chicago Blackhawks. And it'll they'll also host other sporting events uh, including the uh, Fisher's Freight, which will be an indoor football league team that will open, I believe, in 2025. Um, it will also host uh, music and comedy and theater and seat anywhere from 6,500 to 8,500 people. And this is all within walking distance of the yard. Yeah, Nickel Plate Amphitheater in Fisher's, Indiana. This uh, facility seats 6,000 people, lawn style seating. They have a full slate of different kinds of music throughout the summertime and fall. Uh, something for everybody. One of the nice things is you can eat at one of the local uh, restaurants, come watch the show, enjoy it, and then go finish the night off at a local pub. Hey, this is a ticket you might want to score. Okay, our music tour continues. We're at Connor Prairie, which is a large regional uh, tourist attraction. It is open year-round. They have a variety of activities uh, including hot air balloons and uh, oh the what is this uh, 150 or 200 200 year old uh, working farm. There's a lot that goes on here. Uh, unfortunately it's February and we're not going to get to see a whole lot of it. But so in the summertime they have what's called Symphony on the Prairie and the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra puts on uh, 12 concerts throughout the summertime. And all that area back there seats 8,500 people. Um, in 2023, they featured the music of Harry Potter, uh, the Star Spangled Fourth of July. They had tributes to uh, Marshall Tucker, the Fab Four, uh, Journey, Billy Joel, Elton John. Uh, uh, they did a, a Raiders of the Lost Ark um, theme. They just have a lot of fun, and when you come out here, what you do is you uh, you bring your blanket and your maybe your lawn chairs and a picnic basket with uh, dinner or you know some snacks to eat on and your favorite uh, beverage. And hey, it's a good time. It really is. I know people that have like tickets for the whole season, all 12 nights. I usually make it out once, maybe twice at the most. But uh, hey, I have a busy summer, so. But hey, it is a good time. Okay, let's uh, finish our music tour with. Uh, the cream de la cream. Uh, let's go look at Ruoff Music Center. This is Ruoff Music Center. Now it's February and things are buttoned up really tight. Uh, they'll probably throw me out if they see me back here. But at any rate, I'll flash you some photos. 
you've got to, you've got to think about this. This seats 25,000 people and uh, they have a complete lineup during the summer of all genres of music, all-star lineup. You can get a season pass even. And uh, ticket sales for this are just out of this world. In fact, in 2018, Ruoff sold more tickets than any other outdoor music venue in the entire world. And year in and year out, they're in the top five. I mean, just crazy. Now, if you get the uh, Premier or the Legends Pass, uh, parking passes, you can pull right up to the turnstiles, you can tailgate, you can walk right in, and then uh, at the end of the night, you don't have to sneak out early, you can stay till the very end, you catch the encore, you walk out, it's five minutes to get out of the parking lot, and you're another, what, two, three, five minutes home? Hey, it's a great time. We're gonna stop into two of the area's top golf courses and then check out Top Golf, which is always a great time, even if you're not a golfer. Hey, let's talk golf. Fishers has been ranked by one golf magazine or another as the number two most underrated golf community in the entire United States. So I asked uh, my stepson, Seve, and one of his former college teammates, which were the best golf courses in Fishers. And they both independently came up with the same two names, River Glen and Ironwood. We're gonna take a tour of both of them uh, in just a second here. It's a uh, breezy day in February, and uh, while it's pretty comfortable, the course is closed because it's wet right now, and they're trying to get it into shape. But uh, this course is really pretty. They call it uh, Nature's Course. It sits along the White River, and um, it is a really delightful course to play. I'm gonna walk around here and see what we can see. Got 18 holes here, plus a driving range. They have uh, men's, women's, and junior leagues. They also have a very nice large pool and pool memberships. Uh, they also have a lot of event space here. They do banquets. In fact, uh, years ago when I run a mortgage company, we used to do our uh, celebration uh, breakfast meetings here. Very nice. Uh, there's three memberships. There's a regular, a junior, and a family fun, which includes the pool. But just standing here, you can really see just how pretty this course is. Nice big deck up there to look out over all of this. Really beautiful. River Glen Country Club. Okay, I'm at Ironwood Golf Club in uh, Fishers, Indiana. And it is the end of February. And look at that parking lot. It is full of golfers out playing. How cool. They've got a driving range. Nice, lots of woods, water. And then over here, uh, they've got 27 hole course. Wines all over the place, very pretty. Good course to play on, well maintained. They uh, have a variety of leagues, uh, a full junior program with leagues, camps uh, for kids all the way from five and up. They've got uh, the driving range and lessons. And they have memberships for uh, singles, family, junior, senior, and young professionals. So take your pick. And then up there at the clubhouse, they also have some banquet facilities. This is uh, a course that if you move to Fishers, Indiana, you just might want to play. While we're talking golf, let's talk top golf. Uh, this is a Tuesday afternoon in February, and the parking lot still has a good number of cars, but this will fill up and uh, be crazy about half the time. Inside, they've got a hundred climate controlled bays. And this is more like going bowling than it is playing golf. I mean, you don't have to have your own clubs. It's like uh, when you go to the bowling alley and yeah, there's some people that walk in with all the official gear and they've got their own ball and bag and all that and shoes. But, uh, you know, the rest of us go in there, pick a ball out, stumble to the uh, lane and uh, throw it down there. Well, here at Top Golf. Um, it's kind of the same. You don't have to have your own clubs. Uh, there's no cost to rent them. Um, they have all sorts of events and you can see the base here from the outside and then uh, out there into your hitting area. The uh, balls are uh, high tech and they score for you. They do all kinds of events and games. And uh, one of the neat things is there's like a bar and a restaurant. There's 200 TV scattered throughout. And uh, there's even uh, fire pits up on top of the uh, rooftop terrace. So this is great for uh, old birthday parties and uh, other kinds of get togethers, uh, companies uh, 
do outings here. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and you know, you get to hit a bucket of balls, and if you don't want to hit the whole bucket, somebody else will hit yours, and uh, you can sit down and drink. Hey, it's a good time one way or another. Join me as we tour amazing shopping destinations plus the fabulous foodie scene. I'll share a couple of my faves so you can add them to your must-try list. Get through here, it's got a, just a really wide variety of shops and really good restaurants and in the areas surrounding uh, as well. So tons and tons of uh, retail shops and uh, food places and what have you. You've got uh, livery here, which is, oh, I'd call upscale Mexican. It's a Cunningham property and all of their restaurants are great. You've got Ford's Garage, which has uh, oh, really good burgers. And it's kind of interesting, fun place, uh, the way some of their marketing and, and just little things like uh, napkins and, oh, different things that they do inside that really are kind of interesting make it kind of fun you got a total wine for all of your uh, beer and wine needs you can't find it there I'm not sure you can find it anywhere over here you got DSW and Ben's Warehouse and oh, just all sorts of different places. We're gonna take a ride down this little street. Very walkable. You got an old navy here. Got Lita Express, K Jewelers, Victoria's Secret, Soma. Fun place to shop. More shopping than I can do. Through 21, finish line. American Eagle over here. Yeah, five guys. Yats. The Three Dog Bakery. My wife spends too much money there. Up on the corner here we have uh, Pies and Pints. Pretty good pizza, real good salads. Over here is Stone Creek, another Cunningham property, one of my more favorite restaurants. And right in front of us is Dick's Sporting Goods. So just all kinds of uh, opportunity here to satisfy your retail and dining pleasure. Got a big movie theater to go along with it. We're getting ready to head into the yard and I wanted to stop just on the outskirts here. This is Portillo's and uh, I'm not a big fast food guy but this is a place I make exceptions for. When I was in high school uh, in Chicagoland these were little hot dog carts on the corner and we would go there at the end of the night and get a Chicago dog or an Italian sa uh, sausage sandwich or their big beef and uh, boy I think they're the best in the world I like my uh, big beef with sweet peppers and I like it dipped try it we're coming into the yard which is a recent development maybe in the last five years uh, lots of restaurants uh, other shops as well uh, this is the Hamilton uh, County Tavern and Kitchen it is a Hughes culinary property they are fabulous all of them make a little right here on the cobblestone street got uh, some upscale apartments up above some different uh, types of shops like uh, oh uh, hot sauna and athletic annex over here you have rise which is an excellent uh, breakfast place you have Kincaid's meat market which uh, goes back for many many decades some salons 
you've got a winery, you've got slap fish, you've got a Mexican cantina here on the corner. And right here you have one of my very favorites, which is San Giovese. It's one of the better Italian places around. They have good lasagna. They have maybe the best chicken parm in the entire city. Uh, over here you have Sun King Brewery. Uh, everybody loves their uh, cream ale. You've got the test kitchen. And then over here, we have the Havana Cigar Lounge, if you're into that. And then the 1933 Lounge and the 101 Beer Pub. And there's a few others too. Um, the 1933 Lounge is interesting. It's another Hughes culinary uh, property. And you can notice up there on the sign, it says 1933 Lounge by St. Elmo. Well, St. Elmo is uh, the most famous steakhouse in the city. It opened in 1902. People from all over the country uh, eat there when they're in town. All the, you find all the celebrities and sportscasters and all of that. Um, it was named because uh, during the Prohibition years, there was a speakeasy above St. Elmo's. And uh, so this property right here, the 1933 Lounge, is modeled after the uh, a speakeasy. My wife and I ate there the other night for Valentine's Day. It was great. They have to die for shrimp cocktail, uh, prime steaks, and I had a slab of prime rib that was just fabulous. Um, hey, it's something you might want to check out. Coming up is my latest monthly market update with actionable data to fuel your real estate success. We're about to put the winter months behind us and enter the spring selling season. Currently, there are 427 homes in Hamilton County with four sale signs in the front yard. That's 12% fewer than a year ago, and that's causing prices to remain sticky. Basically, they're unchanged from a year ago with the median price being $420,000. But so right today, you can still find a house for sale for $230,000. Or hey, you can go to the other end of the spectrum and there's one on the market for over $8 million. Unlike Austin, San Francisco, and Boise, our market has slowed only slightly. A year ago, it took 10 days to sell a house and now, oh my God, it takes 13 days. Price per square foot has increased just from $165 to $175. And that's basically due to the larger number of new construction homes being sold. Hey, not only is everything brand spanking new, but builders are offering 30 year fixed rate mortgages as low as 4.99%. You might wanna give me a call. Be sure to tune in every Tuesday we do a tour of new construction homes for sale. On Thursday we do a walkthrough of existing homes for sale in their surrounding neighborhoods. And on Saturday we give you a feel for what it's like to live in Indiana. So whether you're buying or selling, know that I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. Hey, if you found this video helpful, you'll love this next one. Watch it right now.